everyone, this is Iris, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do this hairstyle, which is inspired by the music video, Why Don't You Love Me, with Beyonce. And this is part of a series that I have been doing. Please check out my videos for other hairstyles that I have um, created based on this video. So hopefully you guys will stick around and watch the rest of this video. I am featuring the Caruso 30 Roller Hair Setter. There is a $5 off coupon in the information box. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing that I did is I put my rollers on and I rolled them all toward the top of my head. The side ones went rolled up and toward the top of my head and so did the ones in the back. And I left them on for about 10 minutes and once I took them out, they came out with big waves. Next thing I'm going to do is take the top section of my hair and then tie the back section so that it just stays out of the way while I work in the front area. Splitting the top in two, left and right side, I'm going to start working on the left side first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create sort of like a victory roll right in the front. Back combing it causes it to have a lot of volume and lift. And the more you back comb and more hairspray you add, the larger and taller this victory roll will be. I'm concealing the bobby pins as much as possible by pinning them on each side and then adding hairspray. Any adjustments that you make should be made with the comb and try not to use your hand as much because there's a lot of static electricity and it just causes a lot of frizz. I'm working on the right side now and all I'm doing is just smoothing out the top area and then I'm going to back comb the bottom area because this is the part that's going to be lifted and is going to be under the curl that I'm going to pin. Then I'm going to start rolling my hair and then pinning it. I'm not going to style this section yet. I'm going to come back to it later. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a victory roll right next to my ear and I just created a section that goes from the top of my head to the back of my ear. And I'm going to try to try to blend this victory roll with the one in the front as much as possible. I highly recommend that you use at least two mirrors when you're doing this style. I'm back combing it to create a lot of body and lift and then I'm going to go ahead and start rolling it. Actually this roll is going to be more like a victory roll mixed in with a French twist and you'll see what I'm talking about in a little bit. It starts off as a victory roll and as I get closer, I kind of check to see how close it gets to the other victory roll and then I start making little adjustments. And once I'm pretty sure that I want the hair to be pinned down um, in this area, then I go ahead and take my comb and I blend it with the front section. You see how I did that? And then it looks like it's just one big victory roll all together. And I'm pretty happy with the location, so I'm going to go ahead and pin it down. If your hair doesn't stay, make sure that you do hold it until you've got enough bobby pins put in. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my comb and very, very gently, without tugging on my hair, I'm just going to smooth it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and style this front section here by sticking my thumb inside of it and very, very carefully combing it through. If you get any flyaways, you can always make adjustments with hairspray, pomade, or bobby pins. What you're doing with this style is you are basically sculpting your hair. It's going to take a lot of time, a lot of creativity, and a lot of effort. And of course, like I said, you've really got to have your mirrors in front of you. You've got to have at least two mirrors. Usually when I do these hairstyles for you gals, I do them right in front of my laptop and I'm looking at my reflection on the laptop screen but I know that a lot of these hairstyles would come out so much better if I would set up a couple of mirrors but I'm usually really short on time and I've got to rush to do these hair tutorials so again make sure that you do have at least two mirrors now I'm back combing the other side and if you look at the music video this victory roll is actually pressed very tightly to her head I personally think that it would have looked much better if it would have been a little bit more loose and sticking out a little more, but this is the way that hers is in the music video. I'm pinning the bobby pins under 
the edge of the pin curls so that it conceals them a lot more instead of putting the bobby pins on top of the pin curl. Then I'm smoothing it out with the comb to make it look really nice and shiny. In the back area you have a couple of options. You can create the whole section of hair into a um, like a French twist or you can take small sections as I'm doing here and then just pin curling them to the top back of your head. Again make sure that you do have a mirror or two to ensure that the pin curls are pinned very beautifully in the back of your head. And then again I usually pin the bobby pins inside of the pin curl and leave the top section out a little. And then I'm just working in small sections. Be very patient and pin as many of these as you want. If you want a more uplifted um, look with more volume, make sure that you do back comb this area, these pin curls. And as you can see right there, there's like a little error where um, I didn't see that there was hair sticking out. But This is because I don't have the mirror behind me. But if you make any mistakes like this, the good thing about using this style and um, is that it's very forgiving with the pin curls. You can make adjustments later with bobby pins and hairspray. There's nothing that bobby pins and hairspray can't fix with this look. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a little bit when I, when I fix this little mistake that I made. Then this is the final section. Make sure that the areas that are um, coming out from the back of your head are really smoothed out. I'm using my comb and you can use a little bit of pomade, a little bit of hairspray or mousse, gel, anything that your hair works well with. And then just smooth it out. This is the part that's going to be showing so that's why I'm focusing on smoothing it out more than I did with the other ones. And then go ahead and start your pin curl and bring it as close to the back top of your head as possible. And then go ahead and conceal the bobby pins. Now I don't know if you can see what I did there. I put it over the, um, the pin curl that was kind of like messed up a little. And that just added a little bit of lift. And then on the other side you see there are some little uh, pieces of hair just kind of sticking up. You can just hide it with a little bit of um, hairspray and then sticking in some bobby pins. And then I'm just making some final adjustments to my bangs right in the front. I want the um, bangs to be lifted up higher so I'm going to put a bobby pin to hold them in place. And then the front I kind of want it to hang a little bit forward toward my forehead. You can always add some foam curlers that are kind of like the same color as your hair and that'll help hold the the curls or the rolls a little better. So that's it. You're pretty much done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this real quick tutorial. And if you haven't had a chance to look at the music video, go ahead and click on the link in the information box. Remember I did provide a coupon code for you guys to use for $5 off. It does expire. And yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you do create this look, be sure to send me a picture on Facebook. I hope you've been inspired. Thanks for watching.